Topic is climate change, ecosystem and biodiversity, opportunities and solutions. Rapid changes in the climate can damage ecosystem and accelerate biodiversity loss, said Professor Mitley. This is one compelling reason to combat global climate change, which is less well understood. However, is how climate effort with the best intention, such as limiting the increase in global temperature to 1.5 degrees might also harm biodiversity if not guided by careful analysis. For example, newly planted forests may help to curb emissions that contribute to climate change, but this can come at the expense of very rich ecosystem like tropical grassland. If these are seen as appropriate target for afforestation, such systems support unique biodiversity and provide important ecosystem services that are not provided by forest. Similarly, while biofuels may generate fewer emissions than fossil fuel, clearing of natural vegetation to make way for biofuel monocultures can reduce carbon storage and extract a high price in biodiversity and ecosystem services. Stressing the point that biodiversity protection and effective action on climate change are not mutually exclusive, Professor Midley added that. Protecting biodiversity can make substantial contribution to climate change, mitigation and adaptation. Reducing deforestation in tropical region, for example, is a high priority for protecting biodiversity and can make major contribution to climate mitigation, especially when combined with other efforts to reduce emission of greenhouse gases. But such objective may be in conflict with need to increase food security. New approaches such as ecosystem based approaches to adaptation could help to reduce such conflicts. The bottom line is that policy makers are required to balance several challenges and need the best scientific evidence to chart the most sustainable course. Climate change and challenges for conservation. Migration. Rain shift consistent in direction that is upslope and poleward with tracking contemporary climate change are already evident across multiple species groups and regions. Small scale microhabitat shift are also occurring. Examination of past responses also reveal the range of shift consistent with tracking changing climate. Rare long distance dispersal events may enable colonization of distinct location. Transport of small number of seeds eggs or individual organisms over large distance, for example by wind, atmospheric updraft, oceanic current and streams or by birds, animals and humans may establish a species in a new location. Persistence Observed lag in rain shift in response to contemporary climate change may, for some species, be indicative of ability to withstand or persist through changed climatic conditions. For example, the Patagonian Cyprus is thought to have persisted through the last glacial period in at least two refugia in coastal China, despite the majority of its current range being climatically unsuitable for tree or forest species. Adaptation Adaptation may be either at the genetic level by evolution of relevant biological trait or without genetic change by phenotypic plasticity. Species may be able to respond to climate change at the genetic level within a few generations. Evidences also suggest evolution of dispersal ability accompanying rain shift as individual from the population with the greatest dispersal ability are most likely to be those establishing new population. At the end of the last glacial period, Pinus quantota migrated north into Canada's Yukon territory from population south of the ice seed. Population at the northernmost edge of the species distribution show greater dispersal capability than those at the southern edge with lower seed mass relative to wing area, allowing seed to be carried further by wind than their heavier southern counterparts. Extinction. 
Changes to temperature and rainfall regime are as yet small and habitat loss remain the primary cause for biodiversity loss. Decline or extinction due to climate change is rarely due to the direct effect of changing temperature but is often due to second order effect such as changes to habitat type or quality and increase in the pest or diseases. Some species increased in abundance and were able to expand their ranges rapidly when conditions were favorable while other underwent severe reduction in abundance or ultimately extinction. Many species of large mammals such as mammoth has also been extinct. Management choices and planning framework for climate change conservation. Embarrassed change. Embarrassing change does not however mean embarrassing all changes. Accepting new species arrival or novel communities without question is unlikely to be the best strategy for maintaining global and local biodiversity. Change must be factored into conservation objective and strategy choice. Management to promote continued functioning and availability of ecosystem or population in changing climatic condition or within noble ecosystem may be more feasible objective than preserving the past systems. Accept uncertainty. Uncertainty must therefore be incorporated into conservation planning and practice through flexible decision making framework such as scenario planning and adaptive management. Adaptive management involves an iterative approach where action are mentioned and monitored continuously re-evaluated with changes being made when it is necessary. Conservation policy and planning under climate change may need to apply new perspectives to traditional conservation practices. Embarrassed change. Effective conservation policy and practice may in many cases be required to accept some change rather than aiming to preserve existing co-ecosystem with their current component species as climate change and other pressure from a growing human population make ecological changes in many regions and natural system inevitable. Global approach. Distinction between native and non-native species may become less relevant as species shift their geographic ranges. Global rather than regional or national targets or criteria for species or habitat protection or designation of protected area may be more appropriate as species ranges and abundance changes. Function approach Focus on ecosystem function and resilience may be more appropriate than on maintaining species community composition. Traditional practices such as protecting or restoring habitat within reserve may support function and resilience by allowing existing system to absorb the impact of climate change. Global approach to climate change conservation policy and practice. A new attitude may be needed not only for designing intervention and setting conservation goal but for conservation policy practice and supporting and enacting legislation. As climate changes, species will not be limited by human boundaries and may move into and colonize reason outside those considered to be their natural location. Climate migrants may cause reductance in abundance and range size or even extinction of native species. Again repeating, brown Broad scale geographic pattern in biodiversity and climate change also demand greater cooperation and coordination by government, policy maker and conservation manager beyond the national level. Climate change and land use change acting alone and together may make tropical region a priority for conservation. Opportunities for improving ecosystem and societal resilience. The scientific understanding of the opportunities to assist and manage ecosystem in order to enhance ecological and societal resilience
to climate change and ocean acidification including novel conservation and restoration approaches was a key consideration for the forum greater emphasis should be given on the connectivity or trans situ conservation enabling species and gene to reach location where they might thrive despite the challenges of rapidly changing world local action to protect or restore ecosystem complexity and structure can increase resilience to extreme event they highlight the highlight example of key multiple tropic animal mediated processes such as seed dispersal by cow dung beetle grazing by parrot fish assist ecosystem recovery in the tropical forest and coral reef conserve habitat to support healthy fish wildlife and plant population and ecosystem function in a changing climate manage species and habitat to protect ecosystem functions and provide sustainable cultural subsistence recreational and commercial use in a changing climate enhance capacity for effective management in the changing climate support adaptive management in a changing climate through integrated observation and monitoring and use of decision support tools increase knowledge and information on impacts and responses of fish wildlife and plant to a changing climate increase awareness and motivate action to safeguard fish wildlife and plant in a changing climate reduce non climate stressor to help fish wildlife plant and ecosystem adapt to a changing climate now nature based solutions rather than being framed as a victim of climate change biodiversity can be seen as a key ally in dealing with climate change ecosystem management and careful evidence based restoration have the potential to play major role in climate change mitigation and adaptation a major challenge in understanding and implementing nature based approaches to climate change adaptation and mitigation is that of scalability climate change is a global problem requiring multi jurisdictional and multinational governance the cost and benefit of solution as well as the problem itself are inequitable across social group there may be innovation opportunities for scaling for example working with existing rural social protection programs or local fisheries management programs and many example of good practices are emerging example of nature based solution mangroves occupy 5.1% of cuba island area and are found on 70% of its coasts this means loss and damage to mangrove would make coastal communities vulnerable to restore the island nations mangrove a uh, undp help the communities with planting mangroves and fostering their natural regeneration placing stake line to reduce sea urges cleaning canals and promoting coastal forest growth through education and sustainable activities four years in mangrove are sprouting population of wildlife shrimps and fish are increasing and flooding is more controlled in fact the project is making a positive difference in reducing vulnerability and making local communities more resilient to climate change in cuba southern provinces in soma through a undp backed initiative plant such as legume which fix nitrogen in the soil were planted in critical landscape as a project introduce climate resilient food and tree crops farmers community organization youth groups students and churches groups in 126 villages around soma have benefited as at least 16760 hectare of agriculture and forest land have been improved in china climate change and climate variability are hurting mussels protection in three ways more frequent toxic red tides caused by the proliferation of algae ocean acidification and a lack of wild mussel seed for the reproduction 
In response, child has developed a climate smart way for farming muscles that produce little to no greenhouse gas emission. The majority of muscles farming is carried out in floating or underwater holding system that encourage the muscle permanent filtration of phytoplankton from water. Biodiversity to reduce the impact of climate change by maintaining and restoring native ecosystem, protecting and enhancing ecosystem services, managing habitats for endangered species, creating refuges and buffer zones, establishing network of terrestrial, freshwater and marine protected area that take into account projected changes in climate. Important practical action to conserve biodiversity in a changing climate includes conserving existing biodiversity, eliminating pressure not linked to climate change, maintaining large population in diverse habitat, promoting dispersal, addressing uncertainty. What role for academic research? Number of priorities for natural and social scientists. More effectively communicate the evidence base that already exists so that scientific knowledge is communicated to decision maker and other stakeholders in construction, useful ways that can generate political will as well as inform action. Identity and address the key yet tractable knowledge gap in ecosystem science. Many aspects of complex ecological system will remain intractable for time scale longer than the time scale available to implement evidence based solution. Identity how identify how key elements of the complexity that enhance resilience and adaptation can be supported and propagated. Implement and or maintain long term monitoring which is the only way to fully understand trajectories in complex context and evaluate the success of management interventions. Sources Thank you.